Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily reverse your last action to undo whatever you just did in Photoshop. Whether it was a mistake or an experiment that just didn't turn out, just select Edit and then Undo and the action name from the menu bar to reverse your last action. Let's take a look at that. Let's say we want to add some text. Now we'll look at this tool in detail more later, but for now we'll just add some simple text. We'll also select a marquee tool and use that in our image. Now if we go up into the menu bar and select Edit, we can then select Undo Elliptical Marquee Tool and we'll undo the last action. If you need to go back further than that, then select Edit and step backward from the menu bar. And you can do that repeatedly to continue reversing your actions. You can step backwards up to 20 times by default. If you have the History panel open by selecting Window and then History from the menu bar, you'll notice that whenever you perform an action, that action is then listed at the bottom of the History panel as your most recently performed action. Let's take a look. Select our Type tool and add some text. Select our Marquee tool again and it just keeps adding those steps to the bottom of the history panel here. So when you step backwards it simply moves back up through the actions that you've performed. So edit, step backward, and you see it just moves right on up those steps. Now you can also just click into a prior action in the history panel to step backwards or even forwards over several actions at once. So we can click back into the elliptical marquee step and we'll see that all of our actions are then reversed. Now if I click back up into open again, so you can click anywhere you want in those steps. Now note if I do that, that even though you've stepped backwards, the other items that you step over are still listed in the history panel. So if you want to permanently delete an action, click and drag the action in the history panel into the small trash can icon at the bottom of the panel and then drop it there. So here we have our elliptical marquee tool. If I click and then drag on that into the trash can, it'll permanently delete it or you can highlight the action here and then you can click the trash can icon instead of dragging and then you'll be presented with a dialog box that says are you sure you want to delete this and you can select yes or no whatever your preference. Now note the small camera icon at the bottom of the history panel located right here in the center. If you click on it like I've just done it saves a copy or a snapshot of what your image document looked like at that point in time. This is then added to the history panel. Then in case of disaster, you can select that snapshot you created in the history panel to step back to how the image looked at the time the snapshot was created. If you click the leftmost button in the toolbar at the bottom of the history panel, located right here, it will create a copy of your current image document as a new document that you can save as a copy if desired. You can also revert the image back to its original status after making modification. If you scroll back all the way to the top of the history panel, like we did before, you can see the original image. You just click to revert that image back to the way it looked when you started. Or if you select File and then Revert from the menu bar, you can set the image back to the way it looked prior to making any changes up to the last time that you saved the image file. So you just select File and then Revert. Same thing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.